All right, there we go. Uh, this is another Peas World video. We are seeing him. The title is Doctor Gives Modern Woman a Reality Check. Your Liability. Granted, uh, a lot of his videos, like, it may be one video that has something to do with the title, but uh, I just like hearing what he's saying. <coughs> uh, but, uh, what's uh Damn, 20 minutes? I ain't want to make another long video, but fuck. It's already up. Shit. Let's go. Oh, man, play. Can you daily or just average income and they're loyal? I don't know, I gotta start Would over. you rather date rich but they cheat on you daily or just average income and they're loyal? I don't know if this is a serious question. I really hope it's not. Men are gonna cheat regardless the minute they have the opportunity to. So like I always say, if I'm gonna get cheated on, I'd rather get cheated on by a man who flies me to Paris in a PJ than one who takes me on a pedal boat in Pittsburgh. I need all the misandries to come out. And not only express their misandry, I need them to also express their racism. Because it's the same. A lot of women don't even know what misandry is, let alone misogyn misogyny. Like, they just throw that, they throw that word around and don't even know what it means. But that's wild to say. Like, you got to get cheated on Why he's flying you everywhere. Like, that's just what rich women go through. And then later on, they get a divorce anyway. It's just like, you ain't get tired of that. Like... But people only care about money. They, they, like gold, like people, like people as like females, women as a whole, their goals is out the window. Especially the ones that's like all on the internet and shit. That shit's weird, bro. That's some weird shit, bro. Same logic, right? You hate someone because of their gender, they have no control over it. All men are cheaters. You hate someone because of their race, people have no control over it. So, I need I need these women to specify, right? All men cheat. But I need you to go race by race now. I need you to say all black men are criminals. I need you to say all Asian men are feminine and, and they're not masculine. I need you to say all white men are, are racist. Of course. I need you to come out and like let's start to specify what we're really saying when we're saying the things we're saying because what you're saying makes no sense. And I'm looking at this woman and it's crazy to me because this is probably what these rich men like. She doesn't even look real. She, she's like an AI. She's like a cartoon. She's just, Looks weird and just, uh, but, but again, this is probably what they like. All right, follow me here. A woman makes a TikTok asking where you can find good men. Man responds to TikTok by saying, you friend zone them. You need to stop being such a bee and give the good guys a chance. This is a very common thing to see on these here internets. Putting aside the constant narrative that men push that women's standards are too high and that's why all of these men can't find women, <laughs> putting that aside. The other thing I hear from men so frequently is they do not want their girlfriend to change them. Like they, they want freedom and they don't want a nagging girlfriend. They don't want a girlfriend telling them to do this or do that. That woman settles for the guy that she, that likes her and she didn't like back. That's what would happen. She would be trying to change him, to make him someone she likes better. And she knows better. She does not want to date him because she doesn't like him that way. One thing I will say is, maybe she should have said, instead of where are all the good men, where are the men who I'm compatible with? How do I find a person that suits me? Because I think there are plenty of good men and good women out there who are not going to work with other good men and women. It's just about, about compatibility. Being friends with someone is very different than being in a relationship with them. There's a different time commitment, there's different expectations, there are different needs that are being met by each person. So I don't think anyone should settle when their gut is telling them that this is not the right person for them. I don't care what gender you are. Because you cannot change a person. You can't, you cannot get into a relationship with someone with the expectation that they will change for you. It never works. Some people on this app do not want you to be happy. I agree with her overall message, but we have to hop them back to the standards part because I do believe that there are women out there with just completely unrealistic standards. And maybe she could have switched the question. Maybe she could have asked, where are the men that I'm compatible with? But then my question would be, why do you think you're so unique? Why do you think you're so special that there aren't hundreds and millions of men who you're compatible with? Everybody lives in this world where they want to be the main character. They want to be special. They want to be unique. There are literally hundreds of millions of people just like you. This is why there's no such thing as the one. Because if you go to a different place, a different country, different area, you will find people who you're compatible with, who you could end up spending the rest of your life with. Should she settle for the guy in her friend zone? No. Right? You are right.
she's probably going to end up trying to change that person. It wouldn't work. But two things can be right. Two things can be right. A lot of these women will be having our way with Sanders. I believe that too. Like a lot of women do have unrealistic unrealistic standards and also when you start thinking about what they want from men in their age group that's like impossible like men like in their 50s or 60s are just not attaining the money and stuff that women now want but internet has made everything accessible like women have probably dated that one rich guy and now they want that and that's what they they're stuck on their highest setting you know what i'm saying like they may have hit the lottery one time and then but that dude was just gonna hit it and quit it and now they're stuck in that setting and that's what a lot of the world is getting on like a lot of women are stuck on that setting it sucks and you know a lot of men rich uh men on a whole spectrum are all simple it just chill it just if you don't find a woman to ground with you when you have nothing once you get something it's no point in trying to find somebody because they want you for the wrong reason and that's how majority of a lot of men think and so especially like a, a, a man on their purpose they're not going to take a take a woman serious seriously because they know that they're only there for the wrong reasons and that's why like now is be, should be the time where people should get with uh each, you know people should start locking in their significant other or you know like the in in your 20s and then you know in your 20s is the way you should be locking in that person you want to be with for the rest of your life but people don't do that people think that you can be a hoe in your 20s and then in your 30s and 40s they're like you're gonna find somebody no that's just not how the world works and that's why everything is the way it is now this dating pool has nothing but piss in it pure piss this man offered to buy her lunch all she was getting was a salad so he sent her 15 dollars, and she sent it back to him like basically that's not enough what fucking salad <laughs> what fucking salads are y'all eating that cost more than 15 20 dollars and ladies, please don't twist my words up because I know how some of y'all like to do. I'm not saying that a woman has to accept anything that a man offers her. But I just don't be understanding, bro. I don't. If I go out to dinner right now by myself and my meal comes up to $60, but somebody, a stranger that I don't know at that, sends me $20 and says, here, get yourself something to eat. I'm going to put that $20 towards a $60 meal. I'm not going to send it back and be like, fuck, I'm going to do it this. What the fuck is this? the same american people that are living paycheck to paycheck majority of america is living paycheck to paycheck right now but somebody sent you 15 20 dollars for a salad and that's not good enough i just i don't be understanding bro when it comes to dating there's a level of entitlement that men just don't have if a woman sent me 20 20 whatever towards my meal at first i'll be a bit i'll be like i don't know if i want to accept it but that's how i feel honestly but after that it'd be like a level of flattery because we're not used to that kind of you know treatment but it, 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 that's not the male experience right but to a lot of women they are used to that type of treatment and she's probably used to getting way more than 20 dollars she's probably used to getting hundreds you know two hundreds and she's looking at that 20 dollars like that's what you think i'm worth you think i'm worth that 20 take it back but for me personally because she dating scammers and drug dealers and they send her a hundred and two hundred because they it's free money to them so they don't give a fuck and that's the sad reality we in i wouldn't even have offered i ain't offering to pay if i'm not look maybe if i'm married it's different I, maybe who knows but <laughs> if you ask me to pay for your food and i'm not there we're never speaking again that's a stone cold fact. There, there will be no conversation. I might block you. I'm keeping it real. The idea of me right now, currently, with this mindset, paying for a woman's food that I'm not there, I, I, I just couldn't see it. I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. And age isn't really a factor, but you don't know what you want. How old are you again? 38. You're 38? Yeah. Red flag. So, uh, but it's yeah. less about being a red flag and more about being a liability. I get it. If I were to bring you into my life, mm -hmm. you would be a liability. 
Right. Do you got kids, though? No. You say you're a doctor, right? That's correct. If you change your mind, I'm open to it, though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome, for sure. one. So you only like and me because I'm beautiful. Just like I'm beautiful. Yeah, but that's not why I would only like you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm -hmm. life. But because you're a liability, right. you can't add anything to my life. Right. You would be a liability to everything in so my life. So what can I not add to your life? What, what, what is that? You can't teach me anything. Uh -huh. You can't help me with my finances mm -hmm. in any way. You can't add any intellectual... <laughs> <laughs> and see, that's what a lot of, as dudes get older, that's what they, they start seeing that shit, bruh. And that's what, that's the, that's the sucky part. I don't know, but hey, like, being, being violated like that by someone with such a soft voice, like, how do you respond? Like, someone just coming up to you, like, like, you're just like a real bitch. Like, I just have to keep it 100 with you. You ain't shit, you ain't shit. <laughs> you do need to see the way, she don't even know how to really react. But these doctors, they really care about, like, are you educated? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you, like, they, they really, be, you really have to bring something to the table. And when he's talking about she's too young, he ain't talking about age. He's talking about mentally. I'm dating a broke guy, and it really, really sucks because he has the best personality, hands down. I have so much fun with him and but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now i'm not doing as financially well as i normally do so in the past like we have taken trips but i've paid for the trips i've paid for the hotel i've paid for the rental of the car if we've been to concerts i've paid for the tickets he does what he can when he can but he doesn't do enough you know what i'm saying but he does what he can when he can but it's gotten to the point where it definitely sucks because i'm not doing as well financially i can't afford to do things for two people i can't even afford to do things just myself right now so because i can't afford to do things for two we actually don't do anything we haven't done anything like if i'm being for real for honest like in september for my birthday month he did he does celebrate me around those times though he does celebrate me around the holidays he does celebrate me around my birthday but yeah it's been october november december january so for the past four months me and him we've just been like sitting ducks and yeah it just it sucks like it's crazy because i don't think like i feel like females come on wait for the past four months so it Go vacation every four months. <laughs> what, about, what about listening to you right now? You, for the first four months, you've been sitting ducks. What does that mean? You haven't, like when you say you haven't done anything, when well, you haven't gone out to eat, or are we talking about you haven't gone to a different country, or you, like what are we talking about? Online and talk about like, look what he bought me, look what he got me. Mm, you're comparing yourself to the internet. <laughs> Typical modern women tactic okay and that's the problem like if you ain't got enough money to do something every month then you ain't you ain't you ain't got no motion and that's not realistic bro that's not realistic unless you just come from a rich family and that's what a lot of women be looking at they looking at all these rich people doing rich shit thinking they can attain that because they best friend out here thotting mean all these rich dudes and stuff and it's just like bro like that's that's not real life that's not real life bro hey it's not a good look mm, you're comparing yourself to the internet okay okay i see where this relationship is gonna fail instantly okay it's over it's over look at where he took me it's like the ones that are dating the broke men we don't talk about it but it's like, no, I mean, I don't know. There has to be, like, a conversation about it. And it really sucks because I feel like it's kind of getting to the point where if I'm not the breadwinner or if I'm not... If I don't somehow make my life lead me up to making income for two, I don't think that I'm going to be able to be with this person. And it just really sucks because it's... He, like I said, he has, like, the best personality, hands down. So, I'm on here and what's wrong with him like why won't she just hold him down and let him like he probably grinding he probably knows that you the breadwinner and probably wants to better his life but 
she not seeing that right now. She's seeing what everything else is on the internet, what everything like she's she's blinded by the internet, and that's what a lot of relationships go through. Like a lot of relationships, like fem- like women should start seeing what other folks are doing on the internet, and then they want that, and then they look at you like you bum, broke ass, bitch ass nigga, and he probably doing the best he can. You know what I'm saying? But I bet you he treat her right. He don't cheat on her. You know what I'm saying? He do what he can. I bet you she don't fix stuff around the house. Like, at, oh, man, don't even get me on, like, the little blue-collar stuff that he probably do that she probably take for granted. But she probably don't even thank him for, like, the little stuff. And it be the little stuff in relationships that people be realizing that they miss when it's gone. You know what I'm saying? To ask, what do I do? And don't be too cold. Like, don't be too rude. You know what I'm saying? Because... I had my narcissist ex-boyfriend who made way more money than I did. And so she don't went. That wasn't the answer. Like, so it's like, where is the common ground? Like, and obviously I do have a little bit of fear. Like if I stay with him during this whole time and I continue to help out, is he going to just walk away when he does better? It's just, uh, it's so scary. It's so crazy. A lot of niggas. It's like, I really, really like. A lot of niggas. Nine out of ten. If you, if she was, if she stays with him and he sees that, and she really like, think like, bro, like he gonna marry her. Like you don't went through the the mud with that nigga, and then he started doing better. He gonna put everything that she want gonna happen, but she she don't want to go through the the that bruh oh my gosh that irritates my soul because this is like she got what she want but he in his grinding phase like in your 20s for as a man if you gotta grind and this is like bro like he he trying like and you see he, he if you see he's trying bro like i don't i don't bro women bro women oh my gosh it's stressing me out just thinking about it for don't want to like not be with him but at the same time too like she I'm getting caught effing old to do this bruh your 20s is not old you you sitting there bro oh my god it irritates me thinking about it for him because she probably done broke over him by now i don't know how old this video is but it's just like if she broke over him he gonna turn into a dog i guarantee you watch this thing Watch this. We're going to hear about videos of some Hispanic dude be dogging these females out. He's going to be a new future, bro. Because that's what happens, bro. And it's just like, women not women don't want to hold you down no more, man. Get it, it make it, it. Especially the race relationship, like, ain't nothing, like, he not toxic either, bro. Like, because she can't say nothing bad about him. He just ain't got no money. If that's the only thing wrong with a nigga, bro, like, that's, bro, you got to get off that social media, bro. You got to stop looking at the glitz and the glam, bro. This shit. Like, I've already spun around this block a few times, like. <sighs> she left that nigga, bro. I just So, know he has a job. It's a good job. But I also feel like he has a lot of debt. And then I also feel like he's the type of person, like... What she say? Does he have a plan? Like, is he content with his current situation? If yes, I personally couldn't date them, unfortunately. It don't sound like he content. ...to me or whatever because he's like, I'm so nice that you would have to be, like, the opposite because I'm not that nice. But it's not that. I think I'm, I was just... I know how to say no, like, to people. Like, if, if it's a no, it's a no. I don't care what you need. Like, I'm sorry, but it's like I work too damn hard... I'm really trying to make it out of where I, I am, like, and that's the way I've always been, like, for, I don't know, so it's, he has a job, it's a good job, but there is a lot of debt, but then again, like, the way that the world has been lately, like, COVID and inflation, it has been a little bit hard, and... What I'm listening to you, the way she's describing it, I'm picking up on signs that he might just be a regular person. <laughs> that, that's what I, that's what I'm picking. I'm picking up on signs that he might just be regular, and you want something more than a regular. He's a homeowner. I'm a homeowner. So sometimes when you have homes, he's he's broke, but he's a homeowner. In America, I read a stat the other day that in America, seventy four thousand isn't considered middle class anymore because apparently you can't get a loan on that. 
unless you have some crazy deposit. So he's a homeowner, yep. you're a homeowner. You both have homes. Why? Okay, maybe someone sell and you move in together, or you rent and you move in together. That's money in your pocket right there, instantly. That's an instant fix. Because a lot of women won't they out, bro. Like a lot, bro. Like a lot of women not gonna do that, especially like if a one if a if a if a woman moves in with you quickly, she she like homeless. She didn't got kicked out, whatever. But. And they're using you, but like she wants a way out. Like she, I don't think she sees him. And the she's, she, I don't think she sees him. Like I don't think she thought about them two being together for as long as they are. And that's why she's struggling because she wants a way. Like that's her way out, and that's the answer. Like if she truly was fucking with him, she would like she would have been got out the house and moved in with him, or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody would have. Or they would have both sold their houses and moved in together. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a lot of couples that I see that are fucking with each other. But I don't think, I don't think she wants to be in that relationship anymore. I think she's done with the relationship. She just wants, some some people want the world to be okay with their decision before they make the decision. So it's a, so in their heart, they don't think they did that person wrong. They was like, this is what I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to move on. I'm supposed to leave him. I'm supposed to do X, Y, Z. They need that okay from the world to do stuff like that. And I think that's what she wants. I, that's why That's why she's on here making this video. She wants everybody to just tell her, girl, go do what you want to do. Leave them. Go get somebody better. And you're not going to, she not going to find nobody better. Like a lot of, you only, you only get about three, three of the, three of those in life. You only get three chances for real. I believe that. Anything after that, like if you truly like in love with somebody and and like somebody holds you down, you only get three of those, bro. Three good ones. After that, everything else is you settle in and it's just like you toler tolerate that person and then you get into some other shit that like it's a whole another conversation. What am I tripping? Things happen and it's they're not small things. Like they cost thousands of dollars. So he's basically the type of person where there's not really like a rainy day fund and I'm the type of person where I'm all about the rainy day fund. Like I am the queen of no, I cannot get my lashes done. I need to save those $200. Like that's literally why like I wear strip lashes because strip lashes are cheaper than getting lash extensions. Um, I don't do my eyebrows like nobody does them for me. I do them myself. Uh, my nails, like, yeah, I just got my nails done, but it was, it's been the first time in, like, four months. You know what I'm saying? Like, before that, I just kept them bare natural. Like, you know, I'm the type of person where I'm like, if I don't need it, I don't need it. If I want a new pair of shoes, I sell an old pair of shoes. Like, I'm very so much that human being. So, sometimes I just don't really know if there's a real game plan that's actually going to be put in motion. Like... Be, and then it's so crazy because sometimes some people have different luck than you do. Like, I know and I always am super grateful to the universe, to God. I'm very lucky. I've always had really good things happen to me. I've always been placed, like, in the right space for a blessing. So... And sometimes, like, I see the way things happen to him, and I'm like, why Why is that happening to you? Like, what is going on? Like, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you step on some shit? Like, did you step on some negativity? Like, you know, so, you know, do you guys believe in, like, the evil eye? Like, what is going on? Like, sometimes, like, literally, I see the way things happen to him. I see the way his life unfolds for him. And I'm like, why is this happening to you? Like, it, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. I do know his family. Because at first, I swear, I thought I was being conned. Like, I thought it, this was, like, a really elaborate scam. Um, but I've definitely gotten to the point um, that I don't give anymore. Like, even if I do have, I don't give. Like, I, uh, I cannot help. Like, I, I cannot help. Like, I have to see you climb out of this hole. I have to know that you can get out of this. And uh, he said, you know, he has all the best intentions in the world. Like, he does. But... Sometimes, like, I don't know if it's his luck, 
I don't know what it is, but sometimes things happen to him and I be so confused. Like, I just don't know. And so I've gotten to the point where I ask him, like, do you pray? Like, do like, cause it's like, what, what am I doing that you're not doing? Like, why are we like so close in proximity, but your life is like, so this one way and mine is like, so this other way. Like, so I'm like, I think, look, I'm gonna be real. Okay. The situation probably isn't as bad as she says it is, but it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound like he's broke. It just sounds like he's someone that's living beyond his means, which is like 95% of the population, right? Um, if he's irresponsible with money, that's not a good sign. I'm sorry, I have to be honest. If I have a daughter and she's dating a guy and he's irresponsible with money, he's probably irresponsible in general, okay? You can't save, you can't, you know, every other day is some, you know, oh no. I don't know, it doesn't look good. But maybe it's a case where somebody sells up and you move in together. That saves a shit ton of money because this situation doesn't sound like a untenable situation. It sounds like it, it could be fixed with some, some decent communication. Do you want to know why Shiva 7 is so successful? Apart from being consistent, creative, and extremely funny because I'm always laughing, dying at her videos, this is honestly another reason why I think she's so successful. Shira 7, aka Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, she represents the retaliation of the wounded feminine. She represents the woman that grew up watching her mother, her grandmother, single-handedly struggle in a marriage that did not benefit her. She represents the energy of a woman who once approached relationships very naively because they once believed in fairy tales, just to wake up to the harsh realization that they don't exist. Not only does she validate the woman's pain, she represents liberation to the woman that's been conditioned to put herself last. Shira 7 understands that for her advice to work, you have to somewhat be wounded. And this is why she advises women to go get their heart broken first. Or fall in love, get your heart broke two, three times, come back. She teaches how to shut off emotions, something that is very unnatural for a woman. True nature which wants to be loved, adored, worshipped, admired, into money, financial security, and materialistic possession. But she would rather go for the money because at least she's getting something out of it. Jura teaches that men aren't capable of love. Rich or poor, they don't love it. Cap. Investing. Yeah, she gotta be broken because that's so cap. That's super cap, but your emotions in something in someone that can never love you. Therefore, teaching the woman to withhold her love, her desire, and approach the dating world in a way that doesn't fulfill her but keeps her safe. Shira teaches the woman that has felt so powerless over the years to pull her power back and succeed in the dating game. When I say succeed, it's not in the natural divine feminine way, but as a means of survival and coping in a world that has neglected and abandoned the feminine. Because in the long run, the wounded feminine would rather be safe than happy. Because happiness is not promised, but safety could be guaranteed. I love how women can make anything they engage in sound so noble and retrospective. And, <laughs> you know, the wounded feminine and, you know, uh, they grew up watching their, their moms in terrible marriages that didn't benefit them. And, oh, man, man, she, she, she's just teaching women how to finesse a trick. That's it. You know, make, uh, why are they doing it? Probably because they just don't want to stand on the corner. I don't know who the, who the, who the woman is in question, but it sounds like she's somebody big overseas. Like what these women really do right that's 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 why i don't want to do let's keep it a bean, okay but all jokes aside she might be right now she did say these women are wounded these women are broken you have to be broken to have this sort of mindset i don't understand though how black women can engage in something like this and then be upset at the black men who date outside of this i don't understand that but Again, I do think she has a point. I think a lot of these women are wounded. A lot of these women are broken. Maybe they did grow up watching their parents' marriage not be good, right? Um, it doesn't mean that all marriages were like that or the majority. I think this is a minority of black women. I don't think a lot, most black women think like this. But it is growing and um, it is quite sad. Again, this is red pill for women. Um, but yeah, this... Um, Sprinkle, sprinkle, I, I think that's becoming a norm. I think it's way more prominent than what he said, what he said it is. I think that's the end of it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, YouTube people, please like, comment, subscribe, please. Uh, 
I see some of y'all liking and commenting. Well, at least subscribe to your boy if you fucking with me. Peace out.